So hello everybody, I want to show you the reception here from HFDL, uh, it's a high frequency data link sending from aircraft and uh, yeah I want uh, to uh, show you my results. What I get uh, in uh, 24 hours, uh, a little bit more than 24 hours running here HFDL and yeah of course uh, take a look um, for uh, decoding i using uh, multi uh, psk here um, it's a version 4.37 i don't know i think it doesn't really matter um, you will see here a little bit on the card uh, every black dot is uh, reception from an aircraft, the red one is actually one. And uh, down here you uh, see uh, the data that is uh, transmitted. Um, I monitored um, the station in Reykjavik in Iceland on 8977 uh, kilo hertz and uh, yeah here in uh, my region are uh, the most traffic on this frequency and the most traffic is here on the frequency you see it actually and yeah uh, the result is really amazing I have no clue that uh, so much traffic is uh, in the air and also it's a very interesting uh, how far I can hear with my little setup um, the airplanes coming. I can make also a little visualization with um, with uh, the multi PSK. I know there is another option I think with uh, HFDL display but I don't figure it out uh, yet how it works exactly. You can view it also on Google Earth, uh, the same that, that you can make with uh, multi PSK. Uh, but um, yeah, I don't know, I can show you it later. Um, the aircrafts are not uh, spotted uh, correctly. Um, for today, for this day, we spotted 11,129. Uh, uh, messages and to 731 uh, yeah, planes. Uh, HFDL display says to me. So I show you what it looks like on uh, on the Google Earth, and yeah, it's uh, really impressive how many uh, planes are there. You see it here. Everything is white, and yeah, it's. You say it again, it's uh, really impressive. So many aircrafts and uh, what is also very interesting is how far I can uh, spot here uh, the planes. You see it. I live here in the south part of uh, Germany and yeah, it's amazing how far the planes are here. You see it also in South America one capture between Canada and uh, America and also back behind uh, Canada almost going to Russia and yeah back again nothing from Australia so far um, yeah but to Indonesia and uh, so on also on China a little bit and yeah half to Africa and down there on the Atlantic, deep there. This was a NASA plane. Yeah, it's very interesting. Um, you can also try it out. There are a lot of uh, information on the internet how you can make it. Um, I can say a little bit about my setup here. I'm using here in the moment uh, from RF uh, space uh, the cloud IQ SDR. It's a network based SDR and uh, the antenna I use here in the moment is 26.5 meter end feed wire 
with a 9 to 1 uh, unknown. Uh, the feeding point from the antenna is about, what I will say, uh, five-ish uh, meters over the ground and the end of the antenna at uh, 26.5 meters the antenna goes up until to, I will say, 50 meters over the ground. It's in sloper style. Yeah, and uh, try it out, have fun. Amazing what you have for reception into uh, 24 hours. Uh, for a uh, little bit over 24 hours. Okay, that was it with a little video here from me. Hopefully you're having fun to watch it. And of course you can uh, write me uh, down under the videos how is your results, what you are using and have you tried it out or I don't know. Or you have tips for me, what I can make uh, better, I don't know. Okay, write it down and uh, see you next time.